Okay, so this is 3344 buckboard. And honestly, the MLS pictures are of um, the winter time, so not really all that attractive, but it is, I think this is kind of a sleeper. The uh, buyers canceled on it, and so it's back on active status. So they just put a new heated driveway in, very doable, um, easy driveway, flattens out at the bottom, three car garage, really nice layout, beautiful lot, huge big backyard. So I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you through it. I think this might be a really good fit, you guys. And there's a basketball court, little hoop there on the retaining wall. I love this section of Pinebrook. Very pretty. Spring's coming. Actually, spring is here. So, walking in the front door, a little bit more of a traditional layout that you come in to main level. This is actually going to be your entry to the garage. Powder. Laundry. I know this is kind of a hot point for you guys, so I thought it would just get right out to the garage so you can see it. So, two car storage. These guys are just in the process of moving to their new home in Jeremy Ranch. This is the new boiler for the driveway. And then this bumps back, so kind of a long bay on this side for workshop space. Central back. office space. Stairs that go down. Family room. And kitchen. Have a charming mountainy feel. And back deck with Beautiful views. So this is actually face facing east, so you'll have beautiful morning sunlight coming in. That's the driveway. Stairs getting down to the backyard. And Julie said it is actually quite a large backyard. There's a play structure down the hill. And she was gonna send me some photos. So I don't know if you see that fence there, but I believe that's the backyard. This is awesome. You guys, I like this house a ton better than the other one. Kind of a fun open clearing down there. Little garden area. This is covered. Turn some lights on in here. Double oven, Gen Air, newer appliances, gas cooktop. I love when a window at the sink faces out so that you can see the world. All dining space here. And then another family room and more formal dining here. And this looks out to that little deck that I walked on when I first got here. Take you upstairs. A 
Love the big beams, a nice tongue and groove ceiling. Very pretty master suite. Carpets in decent shape. Beautiful views. There are window shades. Oh, backyard. Yeah, Finn would dig this backyard. Nice two-sided fireplace, oh hello. Tub. Decent size two head shower. Two vanities. Let's see this toilet room. Decent size master closet. Little linen closet. And we have two more bedrooms on this level. Nice high ceilings, very fun painted wall, ensuite with a tub, and this is actually a Jack and Jill that walks into the other bedroom. Both of these rooms have cute little private decks. Very cute home. I like this, guys. In great shape, charming, clean. Does not feel like you have to do anything but move in. All right. I'll take some more from that side. Okay, taking down to the lower level. Oh, this is awesome. So another big bedroom. Great light. Great storage. Furnace room. This looks awesome. Newer hot water tanks. Newer furnace. Humidifier. Big storage. I can't find the light switch, though I apologize, but that goes way back. There we go. Awesome. Storage is so important. And full bath. Beautiful, updated, looks great. And then you have a lower level family room that I think you said that would be a big bonus for your extended family to come and visit. And this walks out to that awesome backyard. Oh, this is making me miss Pinebrook, you guys. I lived in this neighborhood for 28 years before David and I built our new home. And uh, I just miss the trees and the lush feel. So pretty. I'm loving this house, you guys. 
This might be one to get on a plane floor. All right. So Sarah and Ben, I am actually just on the other side of this little valley um, on a street called Buckboard. And I drove past 3344 Buckboard and called Julie, the listing agent. Um, this went under contract right away when it was first on the market. And unfortunately, the buyer had to cancel because they lost their um, down payment money when the stock market went curfewy with the coronavirus. So I actually, uh, just from photos, really feel like this may be um, a better layout and flow. It is a three car garage and she did say it's an oversized three. And then you have, this is a new heated driveway, downhill driveway, but not as steep as the other one. So I'm gonna run in, take a look, and take some video and see what you guys think. And this is actually less expensive, um, and I think it may be a better potential resale. A little bit more of a current look. I love this wooded lot. Oh, big doggy next door. So Ben and Sarah, I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of reference. We come down now to the bottom of the Pinebrook area. The house is up and over the mountain straight ahead of you, up Pinebrook Road. And this is just the big um, common area park at the bottom of Pinebrook. So big soccer fields, playground, little pavilion, basketball court, and then there is a walking path around the entire uh, perimeter of the park. So really nice amenity down here. And then straight down at the bottom of the hill is a little commercial plaza where there is a grocery store, a couple of restaurants, furniture store, a couple of office buildings. So super convenient for grocery shopping when you live in Pinebrook.